Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 22 Career Mode Youth Edition here with Bristol Rovers and we will continue on here as we continue in the Premier League now with uh, trailing a little bit here into the ninth position but with game in hands we do have a chance here to move up so we take on West Ham and then we take on Brentford and then we move on into April here on a quick turnaround we take on Watford all these teams I believe are towards the bottom of the table so we're going to try and beat them off see if we can grab some big points see ourselves move up before we get ready for the Champions League matchup against Barcelona in the next month let's get started here we take on West Ham at home and so we will get into the game here against West Ham we will put in the core who is an exciting prospect so he has better potential there than Ram so hopefully he can continue to grow he's up to a 77 so only a, a you know a one point overall difference so Ram has been playing well but we're going to get some playing time into the core as West Ham currently sit 18th on the table let's see if we can grab another victory And we'll get this one underway. Ball comes in, classic. Moves it along, big shot from the top of the box. Turned away by Mores early here in the game. Corner kick, sent in. Oh, and it goes right over the bar over for Mores. Bocas settles it. And Mores picks up the loose ball, but a dangerous one there as it just floats over Mores' head. Oh, the ball gets through. Vlasic on a break here. We don't have anyone back. And will this be an opening goal? Mores gets big. Catelli almost sends it into his own net. Gets out there and clears it early. Gets the ball back here for Bristol Rovers. But a very dangerous one and a huge save there for Mores. And in the middle, Vlasic, another chance. Low and underneath Mores. And it's off sides. And Aston Villa coming out firing here as we just can't get anything to go forward for us and they have a couple chances missed and still nil nil Gibbs plays it in behind has Carr who takes a smash it's in the back of the net and he is on sides as it takes over there Carr has the opening goal and our first real offensive chance gets past West Ham we take a one nil lead into the middle here, right in front, Mori's oh, off his line, it's an off their offsides for West Ham, and the goal will not count. Carr holds the ball up, gets it through to Wood, Wood now around the corner, it's going to be a tight angle, he takes a shot anyway, and he puts it in, 2-0, Bristol Rovers now in control here, now finding their footing in the game. As West Ham have had some heartbreakers called off, this one finds the net, and it's Wood who puts it in, and it's 2-0. Carr now, going again, looking for Wood. Wood, can he outrun his man? He does, gets around him now. Wood, into the box, has a chance. Another one into the back of the net, right before halftime. Bristol Rovers in control now. 3-0 as Wood finds the brace here. And puts another one in. And that's a beauty of a ball, too. Wood just outrunning his man. Gets right around him. And he loves those tight angle shots. Puts it right into the side. And we're in control right before halftime. They get into the box here right before halftime. Broken up. Bocas gets there. Can't get there in time. And it'll be a corner kick here to end the half for West Ham. Can they get one back? It's into the box. Car heads it away. And will they give him extra time? No. That's it. 3 0 halftime. Sandvik has the ball through again. It's Car. Car trying to get away from one man. Sends it into the box looking for Gibbs. Gibbs on the end of it. Puts a good test to the keeper. But he comes up and answers the call. Grabs the ball. Oh, headed down. Car now. We'll have a chance. Sandvik gets it through. Can he get on the end? Has the chance. Puts it. Oh, keeper answers it. Sends it wide for a corner. Corner here. Sandvik. High ball in. Oh, the core puts a good header on. Spilled by Green. It'll be another corner. Sandvik will send another high ball in. Has Bocas who gets there. Oh, almost finds it. Granero tried to punch it in. Keeper grabbed the ball in time. Granero 
Carr over the top. Sandvik. Oh, in the air. Hits the post and it goes in. Four to nil. Bristol Rovers are on fire here as we get back in form here in the Premier League. Into the box here. They turn back into the middle. Big shot. Oh, and it's a rocket here. Vlasic will finally break through for West Ham after having a really good first half. Not finding the net. They get one back. Four to one. Mihav gets Cardozo. Cardozo now through to Wood. Wood now on an angle, puts it, oh, puts it past the defender and the keeper. And I don't even know how that went in. The keeper goes low, misses the ball, and it's in the back of the net. It's a hat trick for Wood on the day as we make it 5-1. to one. We'll maybe see this replay again as we get a good ball in there, lays it off, a good ball in. Wood takes it and just over the keeper, poor keeping there, finds the back of the net again. And 5-1 to one go Bristol Rovers as it takes a deflection off the defender. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. It takes a deflection off of us, and that will be the final touch of the game. Takes a couple deflections here. You see it come off of, looks like it's maybe the core. Finds the West Ham player in the middle. He takes a strike right in the back of the net, but it's 5-2. Too, too little, too late for West Ham as Bristol Rovers will grab all three points. And a big day for Wood as he grabs the hat trick here for us as the time will tick down on West Ham. Ball gets behind, but a good showing there for the core. Good showing there for the offense. And it's a big victory here. And so Moyoyo is looking to come out of the academy and you know, he looks to be a pretty good player, 69 overall. We will bring him in, and then we will also bring in Neil Gallagher, 65 overall, 92 to 94 on the potential. And so we will get into our next game, 14th on the table, Brentford, come to the Memorial Stadium. The core going to stay in there at the center back position, and we'll try and get him up and get him ready, try and improve this back line here for the future. Let's see how we do here against Brentford. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, right in front, boys. Gets in there. A huge save there. Seven minutes into the game. Ball comes flying in. Mores gets in front of it. Over the bar. Corner kick. Corner here. Comes in. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. How did we not? Get, I mean, Brown is right in front of him. How does he not head that ball out? Brentford, after a very good opening chance, take the corner, put it into the back of the net as we just fall asleep in the middle. I mean, we're right there. Brown just couldn't get up there. And it's a slow reaction from Sandvik. Easily, or Nesbitt there, right on the line. Goes right past him and into the back of the net. Carr gets the ball. Lays it through to Gibbs. Gibbs loses it, and Carr is back on the ball, trying to avoid two defenders. Now off here to Wood as we charge forward. Bristol Rovers trying to get into the box. Wood around the corner, drives in the cross, looking for Sandvik back post, and can't find him there. Heads it down and cleared out of the box. Wood to Gibbs, over the top, quickly goes. Offsides there. The, or no, is it a delay penalty? Oh, we should have. We should have probably finish that chance thought the flag went off for offsides it was a delayed penalty and it will be a missed chance there by Carr and a free kick right in front of the box Carr good ball through Wood has to fight off two defenders it's Wood now still driving Wood into the box takes a shot and he continues his hot streak it's four goals in two games coming off the hat trick one all here against Brentford as Wood puts home another one here for Bristol Rovers Ball gets through here. Rodriguez, high ball in. Boke is trying to get up there. Couldn't get it cleared. And the core has to boot the ball out there for Bristol Rovers. And it's Vitali who goes the other way. Carr, if he's on side, has a chance here. And it's a quick turnaround here as we get out and run. No, off the crossbar. Carr can't get there. And another missed chance for Carr to find out a goal for himself. 
call. Gets the ball through. Vitali. can he out? Run his man, he does, into the box. Vitaly, no, hits the crossbar again. Oh, and unlucky here for Bristol Rovers. Breakaway after breakaway, and no goals to show for it. Sandvik, long ball, dumped in here for Wood. Wood now, can he find another one? Tight angle, he beats the keeper, and it's Wood, who's just on fire. Two goals and a first half brace. As we have had our chances here. Finally find the back of the net again. As we missed the crossbar, put it in the back of the net. Five to two. Two to one. Not five to two. You get it. Headed in. A chance. Mores makes the save right at the end of the half. As the ball gets over Bocas, he couldn't get there. And another dangerous chance here. He scored off the corner earlier. Driven in. Wood heads it away. And that should do it for the half, as that should be the final kick. And it is two to one, Bristol Rovers. They got around here. Drop back into the middle. Big shot turned away by Mores. Goes out another corner kick. Oh, and another corner goes in. Wood drifted back there. Couldn't get up in time. And off two set pieces, it's two to two now here for Brentford. Good ball through, Gibbs. Gibbs now, can he find a long ball? Looking for it, Carr gets behind his man, Carr on the break. Can he beat the keeper? He does, there we go. We finally missed the crossbar. Keep the ball low, beat the keeper. And Bristol Rovers back in the lead here, three to two. Corner here, sent in. Wood heads it up. It's still in the box. Still dangerous. Oh, and they almost found it off a beautiful bicycle kick here from Brentford. Good ball through. Gets it up to Wood. Wood moves it along. Good pass. Can he find it through to Sandvik, who's on the break? Is Brentford push forward? Sandvik offs it in and couldn't beat the keeper on the chip and just lost control of the ball there late as he ran in on net. Wood. Drops it in here for Vitaly. Vitaly with some space here as time takes down. Sandvik calling for it in the box. Gets the ball. Hit it on just wide. Sandvik finds some space here. Can he make it work? Sends it in. Low ball. Lex in. A big shot right on the keeper. Good delivery there from Sandvik. Goes for a corner. Into the box here. Big shot. Catelli in front of it. Comes back to him and Morris has to push it wide. And it will be another corner here. Dangerous here as we rotate out. We'll try and put Ram in, see if we can get some more jumping ability into this back line as we try to defend the corner. Sent in. Lexington gets up there and heads it away. Aguilar sends a long ball. Is he on sides? Is Wood on sides? He's at miles in front. Can he find another hat trick? No! Misses wide for the hat trick. Oh, no. He had 20 yards of space on everybody. Misses the final shot, which would have given him back-to-back -back hat tricks. And we will end this one, or should end this one, as we get up there. Lexington heads it, gets, can't get to it as it's headed away by Ram. And it's 3-2 Bristol Rovers. And unfortunately, no one to bring back here final month here in Morocco. And here in Moldova, no one to bring back this month either. And in Paraguay, no one to bring back here either. And we miss on all three months. And we will send our scouts back out. It will be the Netherlands, Chile and Sweden for three months. And so we will rotate the side here against Watford, getting ready for that Tuesday game against Barcelona. We want fresh legs. We will leave Carr in there. He is in good form and is not tired. So we'll try and get at least 45 minutes out of him. So he will lead the line up top. It will be Cardoza and Mickelson on the wing. Mihav, Granero, Aguilar in the middle. And then Aguino, Ram, Catelli, and Medina at the back. And we'll get this one underway. 
and in the middle here they take a big shot from outside the box and it goes just wide Aguilar gets the ball through Carr stays on sides has a chance oh couldn't beat the keeper gets a big piece of it sends it out for a corner kick headed down goes to Carr Carr now can he find it through? Hans Cardoza on the run. Good pace there for Cardoza. Drives in here. Tries to drive in across. Looking for it. It's away. Puts a chance. Well, who was that in the middle? I'm not even sure who it was who came flying in there on the header. It's a beautiful chance. And the keeper keeps him out. Oh, they get around us here. Back into the middle. Big shot. Oh, hits the post and goes out. Dangerous there from Watford. And it'll be a goal kick. Cardoza cuts inside to Miha. Miha now tries to send it through. Has a good ball there. Angular splits the two defenders just wide of the net. And another good opportunity. And we just couldn't find it in. High ball in off the corner. Headed in. Oh, Winoguino clears it off the line. Cardoza gets the loose ball. And luckily, that rebound doesn't find anyone there from Watford. That was a dangerous chance off the set piece. Headed down. Mickelson slots it over. Cardoza tries to take it. First time, couldn't do it. Has Carr right in front. Takes the shot through the legs. Flag stays down. And that is in the back of the net. That is unbelievable. That's a great chance. Another one right into the back of the net for Carr. 27 on the year. It's a good chance there. Cardoza gets the ball back, settles it down. Keeper is scrambling. And then we find Carr right in front of the net. He stays on sides too. It's beautiful. And then right through the legs of the keeper. And we're on top 1-0. Oh, Aguino trying to take too much time. He turns it over. Dangerous here. Watford from the edge. Off the post. And cleared out by Catelli. Right back in here, though, for Watford. Back into the middle. Another chance, and Catelli comes up, clears it out, and wins the ball here for Bristol Rovers. And Mickelson will send a long ball in transition as Carr gets out in front. He'll have a chance, and he buries it into the back of the net. Oh, there we go. And it's all about finishing your chances, probably even on the day here for Bristol Rovers and Watford. Even chances, and we have just finished ours. And... Luckily, stayed alive there. It was a big turnover at the back. Catelli does well, cleans it up, and then Mickelson finds a long ball for Carr. Puts us on top 2-0. To and that will do the half. It's 2-0. Bristol Rovers on top. Edge of the box here. Good passing here from Watford. We'll put pressure on here, trying to break through. Granero steps up. They get a ball through, and Morris has to turn it away. But flag goes up, and it's an offsides call. Alexanen turns pass, chips it in behind, looking for Mihav. Mihav gets on the loose ball, and then the keeper comes out, makes the grab. And it could have been three right there for Bristol Rovers. Alexanen breaks it up, quickly goes through, has Mihav, who holds it up, lays it off to Kristaps. Kristaps now through the middle. Alexanen takes a good chance. It bounces away, back on, and the keeper bounces it out. Can't get on the loose ball. It goes to Watford. Good ball through, a big chance, and into the back of the net it goes here late in the game. Two to one now, the score line, 80, first, 82nd minute it looks like. And Watford breakthrough finally with a goal. They've been trying to get in behind us here. They do it as we just fail. It's not even failed to pick them up. Just didn't get back in time for Catelli. Morris can't make the save, two to one. And up. Sends a good ball there. It's Lexington who's going to chase it down here. Final minutes. He's going to need help here in the box. Has the ball through there. Mickelson now over there for Vinaj. Mihav takes a chance. Turned away as Kristaps got a good pass in there for him. Goes out. Corner kick. And we'll lay it off here to the top. Kristaps now. Looking for a little space to work with. Takes it from the edge of the box right at the keeper. Turned away. A very good chance on the long shot. And we'll finish it here with a corner. We'll drive it in. And Medina takes a good chance over the bar. And that should just about do us. The Cup squad comes up big here. Grabbing three points here in the Premier League. Keeping us in the battle for the top four. 
and doing a good job giving our team rest before the Champions League matchup. And so that will do it for us here in this one. And with that final victory over Watford, we got ourselves back in contention here into fifth position. We are now six points off the top. So, I mean, well, I guess uh, I guess it's eight points, but Manchester United have a game in hand on us. So it's going to be a big one. We take on Brighton in the next one in between the two Champions League matchups. So we'd love to have a different opponent there because that's going to be a good battle that we're going to want to try and win. But we keep ourselves in there. A 22 goal differential. It's, it's good. I mean, obviously we score a lot, but we leak a lot of goals. They are still at 61. So we'd love to clean that up, but we did get or we did not get the clean sheet against Ponford. We let up that late goal, so it's going to be a battle. That does it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you'll always know when the newest ones are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.